I guess I should probably get up. Hmm. Well, it looks like a nice sunny day. Maybe I'll get a couple errands done. Let's see. Oh. Huh. Um. Well then. That looks cold. What's up, guy? Excuse me, I'm, I'm making a video here. So, I mean, like, what's up? Have you ever experienced anything like that before? Me? <laughs> no, I'm from Vancouver. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach now. See ya. Privileged Vancouver kids. So today, my beautiful stylish friends, I'm gonna be showing you five ways, yeah, five ways that you can just up your style just that little bit more in these winter months so you can look damn good no matter what you're doing. Tip number one, you're looking at it, baby. Wear a cool sweater, because why? Because it's winter time and it keeps you a little bit warmer and goddamn it looks good. Not warm enough for you? Don't worry about it. Why? Because tis the season for layering. And just like that, tip number two is in full effect. I got a collared shirt on underneath. Just looks a little bit better, just a little bit warmer, and it just looks oh so much more stylish. And you know what? If this is just a little bit too formal for you, check this out. Take this, take this, boom. Just like that. More freaking casual. On a slightly serious note, this is probably one of the best tips in this video just because layering not only makes you so much warmer, but it makes you look like you know what you're doing a million times over. Why? Because it takes just that little bit more style finesse to understand not only how to coordinate your top with your bottom, but like how to coordinate, you know, a dress shirt with a sweater, maybe with a jacket on over top. It just makes you look that much more classy and it just elevates your look that much more. So if you want me to make a video on how to layer effectively, let me know in the comment section down below and pff, I got you. Tip number three, pff, it's all about scarves, baby. Whoa! Oh yeah, it's scarf season. Just add that little more color in there and you are golden. Scarves are just so soft, so comfortable, and they are just so stylish. It is just a way to take your look from here all the way up to freaking here. And if you say you don't know how to tie a scarf, just lay it over like this, baby, and you are looking fan-freaking-tastic. But for real, if you wanna just be a little bit warmer and you wanna use your scarf for completely practical reasons because this doesn't actually add a whole lot of warmth, simple, just take it like this, ready? Boom, slide it over just a little bit. Done. That's literally it. You can no longer say you don't know how to tie a scarf. Say you're like me and you're living in the great white north, represent Canada, you might need something a little bit more than a sweater, a shirt, and a scarf. Something like a jacket, but not just any kind of jacket, a stylish jacket, peak coat, or an overcoat, your choice, you will look fan freaking tastic Tell me this here is not a more stylish option. Button up the same middle button, just like you would a regular sports jacket, and you are looking fan freaking tastic And not only do you look fantastic, you are gonna be so bloody warm. And this here is just a little bit more of a formal option. If you wanna go for something just a little bit more casual, check out the option right here, known as the amazing Peacoat. Boom. Peacoat, that's right has a classic heritage, still keeps you super warm, but it's just a little bit more casual. Now, if you don't want to do it unbuttoned because you're actually cold, you can still drop that button right there, get this button right here, and you are looking super fantastic, and you know exactly what you're doing this year, this winter. And believe it or not, this look here can still be super freaking casual. Pop on a pair of jeans, your favorite boots, and you are looking fresh. If you want me to go into more depth, more detail on overcoats or peacoats, maybe like more ways to style it, more ways to dress it, even just a little bit of the background, the history, the difference between the two, because you have absolutely no idea, again, let me know in the comment section down below. I got you. I don't know, was that tip two, tip three? I don't know, I lost count. Either way, for these last couple tips, I got a D layer, because oh my god, is it ever hot doing a winter dressing video indoors with the fireplace and the heat and oh, just so many layers, so much heat, so much warmth. It's just so, just so hot. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, look, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. YouTube algorithm. I'm kidding. I'm not getting this video flagged. Tip number four for how to dress absolutely incredibly in the middle of winter when it is goddamn cold. We're gonna wear some awesome dress boots that just have a little bit more warmth than your typical Chelsea or Chucka. 
Bow! These boots right here are one of my favorites for the winter. Why? Because not only do they still look super freaking stylish with a combination of suede and leather, yes, suede does not always get destroyed by snow. Just gotta put a nice suede protector on there and you are golden. Same goes with leather. But anyway, Ryan decided these boots are actually super fantastic for the winter. Why? Because they are lined. And not just lined with anything, but lined with warm, amazing goodness. And these boots will keep you warm. How do I know this? Because I'm from Canada. I have tested these boots in minus 45 degrees Celsius. For those of you who have Fahrenheit, you don't even know how cold that is. You just, you just don't even know. And these boots, they kept me warm and stylish. Right before I get into tip number five, before you get in the comment section down below, I know, this piece of hair is all over the place. I can't figure it out for the life of me. It's the lifestyle of having curly hair. Sometimes you just gotta embrace it. Tip number five, gotta keep those hands nice and warm. How are you gonna do that? Sweet pair of gloves. What kind of gloves? The kind that are like super black, super cotton, and just super tiny rip holes everywhere. You know the pair I'm thinking of if you live in the north. Yeah, these ones, they do absolutely nothing. So how are you gonna look just a little bit more stylish and still keep those mitts super warm? Simple, with a pair of sweet leather gloves. Just like this, they can be absolutely as simple as can be, but these ones will keep me warm, they will keep me good when I'm driving, and they're gonna keep me nice and warm, nice and toasty when I'm outside in the freaking cold. Just wait, we're not done here. Why? Because bonus tip! Bet you never thought about this one. Some nice freaking warm socks. That's right, get rid of those cottons for the winter. Why? Because you want your feet to be toasty warm, and these guys right here, they're gonna do the job. You're still gonna look stylish, and you are going to be oh so cozy. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what can I say? I'm just a passionate guy, you know? All I care about is I want you guys to be super warm, super cozy, and super stylish this holiday season. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, or nothing at all, I want every room you go into, I want you to boss that room. I want that presence of yours to be known. Whether it be through those amazing socks that you're wearing, or that super nice scarf, super nice sweater, maybe you can even have some layering going on in there, or you're rocking one of those super cool jackets that I showed you before. I want you to look and feel amazing this holiday season and I want you to take that energy and I want you to share that with those around you. There are holiday parties coming around, people have family get-togethers, friendly get-togethers. It doesn't matter. This holiday season I want you to spread some good energy to all those around you and in that note I want you guys to have an amazing time this holiday season. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.